The transport industry today is faced with a dual challenge, growing demand for mobility on the one hand and global warming on the other. Only an energy mix that combines fossil fuels with renewable fuels so as to preserve both our resources and the environment will be able to meet this demand. According to the International Energy Agency, second-generation biofuels, in conjunction with those of the first generation, constitute a concrete alternative for accelerating the transition towards a more diversified and environmentally friendly offer. Today, six leading players in the field of energy are joining forces to launch the BioT Fuel project. Their objective is to develop a market and industrial process for the production of second-generation biofuels. These biofuels, which are intended for automobiles and aeronautics, come from the transformation of lignocellulosic biomass, such as forestry byproducts, straw, or dedicated cultures. For their development, the BioT Fuel partners will validate the technical and economic feasibility of innovative production technologies in two pilot plants. BioT Fuel will use thermochemical processes that transform biomass into biodiesel and biokerosene. BioT Fuel has opted for flexibility by adopting the innovative co treatment concept, which makes it possible to combine biomass with fossil charges. Co treatment thus ensures a constant supply of the plants while biomass production is undergoing seasonal fluctuations. The BioT Fuel production process consists of four stages. Everything begins with the pre treatment. During this first stage, the biomass is dried, crushed, and then preconditioned by torrefaction. The final crushing phase of this treatment makes it possible to obtain a powder with the requisite characteristics for optimal injection into a gasifier. The torrefaction takes place at Venette, near Compiègne, while the subsequence process steps are performed at Dunkirk. The second stage is gasification. The torrefied solid matter is transported to a second site, where it is heated to a very high temperature in the presence of oxygen in an entrained flow gasifier, and thereby transformed into synthesis gas. This synthesis gas must have a high degree of purity, so that it can be transformed into liquid fuel. The purification, which is the third stage of the process, consists in particular of washing processes using solvents and catalysts. The last phase is the final conversion by the so-called Fischer-Tropsch synthesis. This catalytic operation converts the purified synthesis gas into a liquid hydrocarbon mixture. The combination of these processes makes it possible to produce biodiesel and biokerosene of high environmental quality, which in particular permits a substantial reduction of CO2 emissions. BioT Fuel will make it possible to develop and validate a technology for the production of biofuels that can be used alone or mixed in any type of diesel or jet engine. This technology, which can be sold all over the world, will come to market by the year 2020. With its large-scale demonstration facility, BioT Fuel will contribute to the development of the energies of the future by meeting the environmental challenges of the 21st century.